Yo, 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 yo. What's up, what's up, what's up? Continuing the series between Hamburger Sasu and 458. <coughs> and uh, this time we got Hamburger Sasu on the Terran. There's two games left. I think the score is 2-1. to one. I'm not sure if it's a best of 5 or best of 7 or 9. So... I really do not know. So, we have Hamburger Sasu on the Terran. Let me slow it down a little bit. And we got 458 on the Protoss already getting his robotics. Let me slow that down. And Hamburger Sasu went for your standard command center early on. And I'm doing this on Saturday morning. And I will probably have this posted on Tuesday. So, the first two games should be posted on Monday. Let's see if I can get that volume a little bit louder. So, here's your depot. Here's your Marines. Not hearing much. There we go. Scan coming down. So he's going to see that there's a Citadel of a Dune, but he went for a Templar Archive, so and there's only one gateway. So he knows he's going for drops. He's not going to try to just bust through the front. Or not bust through the front. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, bust through the front. So he's not going to make Reavers and get Zealot Speed and use that Reaver and those Zealot Speeds to just bust through the front. So he's probably going to start making some turrets on the side. He's getting the engineering bay right here. And we'll see if he goes for an attack right here. Doesn't have any medics right now. And he'll probably put some marines over here. And I stim these guys up, try to take out one of these zealots. He gets as close as he can right now. So he can get as many shots as he as he can. And I think he'll get that one. So he got one. And he'll move a little bit closer, I think, just so we can see how many cannons are here. And this is why he's probably going for a double starport. Gonna go for a dropship, lifting these up. He knows he's not gonna be up against any attack for the most part. No Dragoons, no Reaver. So he's just gonna go get as much vision as he can. He's pulling these guys back. He just wanted to get a, a free kill. There's your turret coming down. And let's see what 458 is up to. Get a couple cannons right here for tank drop. Could get dropped this way, so we'll see if maybe Hamburger Sasu goes that way. And here's your Zealots on the side, so we'll, I think he might spot this out. 458 sees this, or Hamburger Sasu sees that Zealot, but now that Zealot's going to see that drop. So, we'll see if he pulls back some of his Zealots. Six minutes in. Whoops. And I think he should have scanned. So not the best drop right there. And he also went for a drop at the same time. It looks like. We'll see if he, re he repairs this. I think it's going to die. So probes. 48. 45 for Sasu. This is going to turn into a macro game it looks like. Another cannon coming down. Here's a, another drop. Three Templars, four Zealots. Have a little Red Bull. So it looks like three. Hey, you got your three rates right here. And he's going to spot this out. Not yet. It's coming through. There's your Templar. Is he going to get the storm off? I think he is. Ooh, and he's going to get maybe five or so kills. Could have got a lot more, but he dropped it so far. Another storm gonna come down. This looks like a bunker. 
Going for another storm all the way over here. Yeah, 458 playing this one perfectly for the most part. Scan's coming down. Looking for that drop. Here's your three robos. You'll probably see this drop over here, though. Where's his rates at? Here we go. Here comes that drop. Spots it out. See if he takes the back one out first. There's your zealot that's going to drop. Kill some of these turrets. Getting a few Goliaths. Supply at 114 for 458. I'm surprised he doesn't just go kill these Zalots. Probably because he wants to make sure that his rates are at home so he can stop drops. Got a cloak. Looking for those drop ships. And he's going to take a bunch of these out. For sure. Let's see what this looks like. Not gonna have any idea until these guys start getting taken out. Takes. Look at all those storms gonna basically. Wow, that's cool. So he took all of those out. Comes a dragoon to take out this barracks. So hamburger Sasu in a pretty good position right now. He's just keep macaron up, get his base a little bit bigger. Should put four or five more factories down and you would think that 458 would put more cannons here and not have his shuttles just be chilling five rates right here two more factories three more factories on the way four more factories on the way so another one five more factories on the way so really doing a pretty nice job my contact's been wigging out, so. If I miss a drop, that's why. So, I'm gonna start taking over the middle, and. I think that. Not completely sure why I killed that skin coming down. I lost my train of thought. Let's see what. He's gonna see these guys. Scan came down. Where's that drop at? All the way over here. Let's make that into a cyber. Oh, I think he might transition into carriers really soon. So. Let's see if he starts building up his base. Three more drop ships. There's your rates down here. As soon as he sees this, he might bring that drop up here and bring it all the way over here. Oh, he's actually going to go all the way down in the corner. So this is wide open. It's going to be a massive drop. We'll see the reaction time. He's going to see it. Take out one, two, three... Is there a Templar in here? I'm gonna finish these guys off. He moves his SCVs and doesn't really lose much unless there's some splash damage that happens here. 77 SCVs. 76. Now Hammer Sasu is basically maxed out, so he might just go for the attack. He's gonna another command center right here. Shield battery in the middle. Interesting. Not exactly sure what that's for. Gonna scan this. And I think he thinks he's gonna be getting attacked right now, which he is. There's gotta be another drop coming somewhere. Four Templars in there. Here's your Stargates when he transitions into carriers. Gonna start moving on out. And this is gonna be some big storms right here. And 
Alright, 458 actually making some progress. Here's your vessel, here's your rates. Actually making some progress right here. He's got 111 upgrades. Gonna take this out. Here's your rates right here. So he's got that observer. He's seeing where those rates are going. Here's another drop that's coming. So yeah, look at Sasha's base, pretty big. He's actually putting this one really, really nice. So here's your Corsairs, more Stargates, and your Raids. Here's your Observer. And did he see that drop? He's not seeing this drop. Gonna see it late. Here's your Raids to help out over here. Storm gonna come down. 85 SCVs down to 64. And bulldozing through the front right here. And he might just bring a drop right across the front. And 458, look at him spending his money like crazy. Is he getting carriers? He's going to go right into the carrier. So, I don't know. I feel like he could have just kept massing and kept dropping. Here's your defensive matrix. Instead of going into carriers, I think he should have just kept massing up. I'm gonna see he's most likely up against carriers now, so 143 supply. Needs to start massing up. There we go. And he's gonna have to try to take this out to race against the clock. Dropping Dragoons on the hill and then gonna go with the drop. Is there a Templar in here? No. So, this is gonna be super annoying. And this is gonna set up as carriers later. There's not gonna be many turrets on the side right here. Those carriers should be getting close. Yeah, they're getting there. And starting to move out in the front. I do think that Hamburger Sasu, his Zerg is better than his Terran. His Terran's obviously really, really good, but I think his Zerg is better. Comes your carriers. He's got only one observer, eight carriers. I feel like that's the, the number he usually goes with, is eight carriers. Goliath's doing a nice job right here, scan coming down. I'm gonna try to EMP this. And we'll see if he tries to sneak in a drop right here. Here's your Corsairs. Gonna have to scan this. There's your shuttles right there. So that drop should be coming soon. Hopefully we don't see any mind control. And here comes your drop. Gonna take out one shuttle and two shuttles. Not gonna get that through. And Sasu handling that pretty, pretty nicely. And now I'm going to just start moving on out. Seven carriers. So one carrier did die. Might make some more cannons. He is. Here's your tank. 66 SCVs. For Hamburger Sasu. Comes on 
Oh, I thought that was going to be a drop. Taking out these tanks. Extremely annoying. There's got to be a drop coming soon. Nice EMP right there. Did lose his vessel, but he EMP'd this. Here comes a drop. Just some Corsairs. Yeah, I haven't seen a drop in a, a little while for 458. So, he's micro his carriers. Somehow, he's always able to do a lot of damage with his carriers and with a limited amount of them. Six to eight. We'll see if Valkyries get made. I think that Hamburger Saucer needs to put down a few more starports. So we got three. Some more carriers are gonna join the army. Takes out one carrier right there. Nice little micro from Sasu. See, this is where the old Hamburger Sasu would thrive because He'd be playing at about 400 to 450 APM. So he would have more of a built up base, but he'd also be able to micro these guys. Looks like, looks like a drop down here. Valkyries. Oh, it's going to get through. There's your Templar. Going to get sniped. Another Templar, gonna get a storm off. Not gonna get any kills whatsoever. So, good job there by Sasu. But more cannons coming from 458. He'll probably use these carriers and then go in with a drop right after. Still has the magic number of eight, it looks like. Trying to push here, but then. He did storm these guys. And Sasu's starting to make some progress into the base of 458. Another command center coming down. Gonna go and kill these cannons first, which I don't completely agree with. I think you should just start attacking this. And it's gonna make 458 have to defend this. So. Here comes a bunch of Corsairs. Gonna try to take out these Valkyries. Seven carriers right here. More cannons getting made. I just think Sasso just doesn't have enough factories right now. And here comes your carriers. More cannons getting made. Here's your drop. Three Templars in here. And he knows this is wide open. He's going to sneak in. Valkyries are not. Are getting repaired. Here's your drop. 73 SCVs. Going to drop all the way down to 52. And we got carriers at the front. Gang coming down. One of these guys, look at that splash damage with these Valkyries. I think this is what he should have did earlier. 
These guys are going down quick. Here's another drop. And going to pull the SCVs. Three Templars in here. This is not going to be good. One storm, two storms. And gonna slowly start moving out. He's got 1,000. Here's a drop. This guy's gonna storm. These zealots are gonna do some damage. I just think macro versus macro, 458 is just better than hamburger sausage. Another drop gonna sneak in here. Gonna need to kill the Templar. He's running for it. Gonna get the storm off, but not on the minerals. And where are all those carriers getting made right now? Getting a couple more Stargates. And yeah, I think you should just go for the attack right here. Don't need to waste your time. I guess so he can fly his Valkyries over faster and easier. We saw we saw this happen with um, that Marine guy. I think he could have won the game if he just didn't go attack all the extra bases. Sometimes you need to, but not in this case. Another cannon coming down. Hammer Sauce is really spending his money really nicely. Here's a Templar drop. A couple engineering bases get, getting made. And this one is just going to sneak on through, but definitely going to get smoked. Here's your carriers. He's got 10 of them. Corsairs. Probably going to load up a drop very soon. And... You bring the, the Corsairs in to take out the Valkyries. And here he goes after the Valkyries. Is he going to go for the main? And I don't know how you can click it. And this is going to be gone. So the main is gone. I don't know how he's able to easily click it like that. Unless it's just kind of a luck thing. <laughs> Looks like another bunch of Corsairs are coming. And all the carriers are going to go down. 458's at 150 supply. Here's your Corsairs. And these should go down. And now he's got to go, 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 go. Because he killed all the carriers. He can assume that he's making more carriers. And he's going to have to try to kill this. But look at all these cannons right here. And this is another thing that 458 is really good at is just dropping Zealots, Templars, getting a nice storm off on all these tanks right here. 169 supply, 185. Carriers are about 60% done. And here's a storm. Nothing in it though. Another storm. Templar in there. Gonna get one storm off.
There's a fake storm. Starting to mass the Zealot's little micro from Hamburger Saucer right there. And there are your carriers. Seven of them. Storm's coming down. Pumping out the Valkyries. And if those if you, if you can just get those Valkyries over here. Oh, there's a bunch of Corsairs. And doing a really, really nice job here. Continuing to push on 458. Really, really nice job here. Here's a couple of Goliaths. We'll see if maybe some DTs get made. There's like a Templar. 458's maxed out. He's got a drop right here. He could actually just go for a Reaver drop and it would destroy Hamburger Sasu. Here comes your drop. He's got the Goliaths. He's seen it. Gonna scan two. And I think there's still a shuttle here. Two shuttles. Nothing. Oh, there's a Templar in here. He can get this storm off. I think he just doesn't realize it. There it is. Gonna get the storm off and kill a lot of SCVs. That was huge. And these guys are gonna go down. We'll see if this guy has another storm in him. There's your turrets getting made in the middle. Yeah. So, 458. Gonna win that one. I think that Hamburger Sasu had a really good chance to win that one. So, that's gonna be game four. So, I think the score is uh, tied up. Four to four. So we'll see if anything crazy happens on this one. Two barracks and then go into a command center. I think once he scouts this, he's gonna go into right right away, he'll go into another command center. Another cannon coming down. He's got this probe chilling here just in case he does get attacked. He can Put that gateway right there. And I think he's baiting Hamburger Sasu to come in for the attack. And Dragoons is what 458's going for. And this is one thing I like about 458 is he'll switch up his strategies. Three factories right here for Hamburger. And he's going right into a Goliath. Going to lift these up. No command center, uh, comp set, just yet. So it looks like he's going to play this one kind of like that Marine guy played. Dragoons are coming out, and 458 is going to see that. Going to build another bunker. And I'm sure he's getting siege. He's got two tanks on the way. No starport. And here are your Dragoons. We'll be able to take out this depot. Another Dragoon going to come in there. Here's your tank. And let's see how close range is. 
gonna try to snipe out this tank and he's just gonna run these dragoons on through and I think he might get the tank he does there's another tank right here nice little micro from four five eight Is he gonna get it? He does get the tank. So that was huge. Three robotics right here. Another command center coming down. There's your support bay. Three more dragoons are gonna come in here. Might be able to get this guy. He is gonna get that tank. So he's killed about four or five tanks. Maybe six. So really, really doing a good job right there. Looks like he might just drop these guys on the hill. Then he's got a shuttle and then two Reavers coming. So. Scans are coming down. And... Heard a tank siege. And that's one thing 458 likes to do is make sure you don't have much vision. So he can be a little trickster with his drops. See how close speed is. Two Reavers, gonna pick up these Dragoons right here. Another Comsat, three more factories coming down. Still no Starport for Sasu. Here's a turret. And he should have somewhat of an idea that the drop might be coming over here because this Dragoon just started attacking this engineering bay. And here it is. Always goes right in the corner. Here's your Goliaths. And he's going to drop these guys. Takes out two Goliaths right there. Going to take out these turrets. Here's your other drop. The perfect setup. There's a tank here. He's still got a zealot in there. And here's your reaver. Gonna micro it. 53 SCVs down to 46. His drop reaver micro is just insane. That one not gonna blow. Not in distance right here. So losing a lot of mining time. Four five eight. You're gonna start building up his base. I don't see his drop coming. Reaver drop. Might try to just bulldoze through the front, maybe. Here's your science facility. Got your starport. Getting that upgrade. Already has one upgrade on an attack. Here's your reaver to help out. Gonna take out that tank. This is going to do a lot of damage right here. Yeah, 458 easily has the best Reaver Shuttle Micro. Six factories. Maybe we'll see a nuke this game. Repairing the Goliaths. Here comes your next drop. Scan coming down. Not going to see a shuttle here, so a drop is probably coming. Here it comes. Not reacting. There's your Reaver. Could only get a few SCVs, I think. 
I think he dropped these zealots a little bit premature. Zero one upgrades. Here's your stargates. Yeah, I think you should just try to bulldoze through the front right here. Do a, a bunch of reavers, drop it right here. Bring in the zealots and just crush this front right here. Here's your reaver though. Ooh, he sniped it out with the tank. So nicely done by Henry Sasu. That depot's gonna go down. But just too many goliaths right here. Here's a probe, gonna start building in the middle, gonna start building right here. Carriers are gonna be on the way. And here comes some more zealots. Gonna rewall this off. Here's another drop. Two reavers. I think he was trying to snipe out that shuttle right there. Take it out two tanks right there. Another tank gonna go down. Gonna take out this tank right here. Yeah, I don't think he should transition into carriers just yet. He's doing a pretty good job bulldozing through the front. Maxed out versus a hundred supply hammer Sasu. Scans coming down. He's gonna see a none a ton of zealots, so he's gonna reinforce this wall, get a turret. We'll see if a reaver comes. There's your cannons. There's your reaver. Ooh, nice shot right there on the reavers or on the siege tanks. And Henry Sasu is just gonna be super aggressive because I think he he knows he's gonna be he's up against carriers. Here's another command center coming down. You can just take this out and start moving on out right here. 1-1 one, one upgrades. 458 is just going to continue to make as many cannons as he can. Four. He's going to have a lot of cannons right here. Getting these guys just a little bit closer. And it's hard to push out like this because it's so narrow. Scan coming down. So he's just going to go for it. I see a drop going this way, but now that the drop went that way, he might bring the drop right back over here. Here's your carriers coming in. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. He knows when he gets scanned, and then he just knows to go the opposite way. Here comes your drop. I think it's this one going to get through. There's one Templar, two Templars, three st Templars, one Storm, two Storms right here. But not gonna do much damage right here. Four carriers. Another two right three right there. Gonna start building some turrets in the middle. There's a interceptor trying to get in there, I think.
And 458, what he does with his carriers, he takes out your tanks. Because he knows that your Goliaths are not going to kill all of his cannons. This guy's going to go down. Took him down easily. Here comes a drop. Three Templars. Ooh. Seven Templars in here. This could be really, really bad. Ooh, he's going to snipe it out. Gets one Templar to drop. So well done by Hammer Sasu. He's got a vessel right here. Upgrades are on point. Nine carriers. They have basically all their interceptors for the most part. One upgrade. Sending these Goliaths on over. Yeah, there's a lot of Goliaths. He's going to try to snipe out some of these carriers. Takes out one, two, three. Four. Five. Six. And seven. Gonna start building the turrets on the side. Gonna be very annoying. Here's a drop though. Is there a reaver? Just Templars in here. And I don't think, I have a feeling Hamburg Sauce is not gonna see this. Look at Hamburg Sauce's point at 370 APM. Here's your Goliaths. There's a lot of Goliaths here. Storm gonna come down. Is it this one? There's your Templars. One storm, two storms. So not gonna lose any F F SCVs for the most part. Building turrets on the side right here and building turrets in the middle. Is he pulling these guys to build more turrets or is he gonna build more factories? Let's see, he's got more, he's got an arb, so he's finally gonna use an arb. You rarely see him use an arbiter. I've been saying that about this game. I think 458 should be using more arms. Here's your scan. You can see he's still up against carriers. He's got the Goliaths over here for this drop when it comes. We'll see what his reaction time is to this. Should be coming. There's some zealots. He's just gonna bunch of chop a bunch of zealots right here. Take out all of these turrets. Kind of like that move. And then he'll sneak in a drop later. This guy probably. Storm's coming down. There's your carriers. Dark Archon in the building. Not what we want to see. Scan's coming down. He is going to see that Dark Archon. Here comes your drop. Three Templars in here. Going to scan it. Pulling the SCVs really nicely. Ooh, wow. That was a good storm right there. Got about 30 SCVs. Very, very nice storm right there.
Four or five eight gonna get rid of some of his probes, probably. He's got ten K in the bank. But Hammer Sasha has six K and five K, so he can keep massing up and get a huge army. He's rebuilding these turrets over here on the side. Let's see what the upgrades are. Zero three one. Here's your carriers, eight carriers. Too many Goliaths right here. Here's your drop. Just a Templar drop, no Reavers. And I'm gonna kill one of those shuttles. See if he moves these Goliaths. Doesn't look like it. Not gonna be seeing this one. But not gonna get the storm off. I don't know why he doesn't just rally these guys up here. comes a big frontal attack he's got to get rid of some of his probes really soon we'll see it EMP gonna come down nicely done look at all these turrets in the middle hamburger sausage controlling the map very nicely he's got the Goliaths coming in here's your cannons getting made just like last game Dropping some Templars right here to help storm the Goliath. I feel like he always has good good counter moves. 458 does. All these Goliaths. Well, I'm going to use my carriers, but I'm also going to drop some Templars and storm your Goliaths. This guy's going to go rogue and die. Ooh. So close. One, nine hit points right there. Drop. There's your Dark Archon and... Not able to... Re Did he recall it? I think he tried to recall it. But he was unsuccessful. Bad manner four five eight right there. Templars in the middle. Gonna drop these guys. Storm on the tanks. Look at all of these turrets. We'll see if another drop tries to sneak in through the side. But four five eight. Doing a lot of damage. Still uncertain why he's not killing some probes. Unless he really wants to have a lot of minerals. So he can just make a... So he can storm his own probes. And then just go for a massive, massive carrier. Zealots. Overpower. EMP gonna come down. And he's always got a drop coming from somewhere. This time it's up here. Got the Goliaths. Good reaction time from Hamburger Sasu. Snipes out one, two, and three. Gets them all. And he micros the Goliaths out of there. And now he's gonna go straight for the attack. Of course, more cannons coming down on Nexus right here for 458. One, three, two upgrades. He needs to get more upgrades. Gonna continue to build those turrets in the middle. Some zealots are gonna drop right here. Wants to kill all these turrets with the zealots.
25 minutes into this game. Non-stop. Very similar to the last game. There's your Dark Archon. And now Hammer Sasu's got 8k. So he might blast some of his SCVs. I hear a DT in here. Here's your carriers. Shop coming right here. And making some progress. I'm gonna lose that vessel though. Yeah, four, five, eight. Get rid of some of your probes. You got a lot. And he's got an arbiter right here. There you go. He is getting rid of some of them. I think he got rid of 12. The storms are coming down. Both of them at the same supply. Six carriers. Goliath's coming on over from here. More Goliath's gonna spawn. Scan coming down. I think he wants to make sure that he didn't get mind controlled. You see in this opening right here, might EMP all these cannons right here. Yeah, so nicely done. Let's see the range on that. Got about six six cannons right there. So that right here, that right right there did 600 damage. Another carrier gonna go down. Yeah, four, five, eight. Just get rid of some of your, some more of your probes. Gonna go check for some turrets over here, but there's no turrets to be had over there. And here comes your carriers, eight of them, and a Templar drop. I don't think a single Wraith was made this game, or Valkyrie. Here's your SCV is gonna start building some turrets, and these guys are coming to bang. Is that drop gonna sneak this guy in? Took one hit, two hits, and nicely done by Hamburger Sasu. And he got a nice EMP off on the carriers as well. Have to micro these guys out. These guys are gonna try to cut them off and might get one or two kills right here. Look at this micro shoot. Stutter step, shoot, stutter step, shoot, stutter step, stutter step. And two more carriers are going to pop out. Carriers are so fun to play with. I think that hamburger sauce is in a pretty, pretty good position right now. Turrets getting made. A 
man. These guys are going to get owned. For sure. Takes out another carrier. Here's a drop. Dark Archon. Going to go after an SCV. And he takes it. Oh, no. There it is. And now, Hammer Sasu. There's your scan. He's looking for the SCV. And now he knows. We'll see if he scans over here now. But now he is in trouble. I think he he doesn't think he lost an SCV there, but he or got mind controlled. Looking for expos. He's gonna see this. I wonder if he notices that this is getting built. And he needs to just go, 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 go now. This is not good. Gonna kill the SCVs. I think he wanted to kill more right there. He didn't kill all of them. He's gonna reseize this up. Here's your drop. Scan coming down. And it'd be fine if he gets dropped. He shouldn't really matter too much. There's a storm that's actually beneficial for him, so he has a bigger mass. And now it is a race against the clock. These guys are going to go. Not the best control from Sasu. Here's your carriers. And he's not going to make any more SCVs at the moment. Just going to start pumping and pumping and pumping. Can he do it? He just needs to... Kill him, get inside his base before a factory gets made. And those siege tanks start getting made. Here's your barracks on the way. Come on, Hamburger Sasu. I have faith. A couple of Archons right here. I'm not seeing many tanks. There we go. He's going to need those. Let's go, Sasu. You got about three, three or four minutes here. Scans are coming down. Sees the barracks now. And he's going to see another command center getting made right there. And here is your double factory. Come on, Sasu. This is at least 12 carriers. And 458 can get rid of some of his probes. Oh, he's got a bunch of Valkyries. These are going to be almost done. Come on, Sasu. Look at Sasu killing some of his gateways so he can get some room. Scans coming down. More room for his factories. Why are you chilling, Sasu? Waiting for the Valkyries, I guess. Here's a drop. And that's just going to go down. All right, starting to move in right here. Can he do it? These, there's your Templars. He needs to EMP this or the Templars. He does EMP. Maxed out, but... Siege is on the way. Two, a lot of tanks are on the way. It's getting a little bit closer. Come on, Sasu. Let's see what this looks like for 458. He's got an ARB in here. He's going to stasis this maybe. We're trying to stay by the ARB. It almost dies all the way down to 3 health. Getting rid of some of his probes right here. 
Scans are coming down. This guy's gonna try to get a storm off. He does. Look at all these Valkyries out. There's your stasis. And he's gonna have another stasis. And those tanks rolled out. Siege is done. He just needs to use all these Valkyries and just take out all these carriers. There's your tanks right there. Has he got more Valkyries coming? Come on. Oh, big storm right there. Bunch of big storms right there. Got the Goliaths. These guys should unstasis in 3, 2, 1. And there's got to be at least four tanks right here now. There's three, four, five. How many carriers? He's only got four carriers left. And here's your rates. He's going to use the race to try to take out the tanks. Scanning, and he's looking for those tanks. There's your scan. Going for it. Ooh, the Corsairs are just too strong. Gonna take out this tank. He's getting low on money. A couple cannons coming down. Here's your observers. Oh, I think he just lost all of his rates from a storm right there. The sound of tanks shooting. Sounds pretty dope. Yeah. Sass is going to know he lost. There's just too many tanks right here. I just think that his Terran isn't as good as his Zerg. So, so that one's going to go to 458. He's going to win this series. Best of five. Go three and two on Hammer Sasu. And uh, going to beat him Protoss versus Terran every game so good games right there give it a like and a subscribe and i will talk to you guys later peace